you still that, can, man. So, but with Skype is even more hard because most of these teams are using Skype to play. So if they try to do like that, uh, you will notice. More okay. or less, more or less. Go there, for the game. There, there are ways, you know, to to go around. Yes, but I if if you put all, uh, uh, if you make it harder for that, it's always nice. Like, okay. Islands. Like in Japanese and Hans. Uh, are they mirror? Yes. Oh yes, this Completely. time. Completely. Yes, they are mirror. Let me Cookie. switch to Chris again. I really Cookie. like to see him. Yes, Cookie. Cookie is really good in on Iceland. I know him, and he's really good on water maps. Okay. He's Vikings facing Hans. Pockets are Vikings and. Japanese, this Japanese one, is Greece. This, this one w w will be about, you know, team play. So yes. much, so much. Because yes, a lot. They here. have to they have to coordinate to communicate better. To, yes, be, to be effective as a team. Yes, more than Arabia. Arabia it's yeah. happened some one versus one there are like stealing the board and so and it's make a lot of damage to the team. Yeah. I come back actually. Okay. Oh, uh, Chris Town Center seems close to water somehow. His main goal it's between it's safe for at least late in the game. He will be fine. Uh, Cook's map seem to be also good. Safe. Uh, the winner of one versus one map, yeah, it's fine as well. This one, the main goal is is not too close to the water. Uh, yellow, Nepal, his town center, it's mm, almost like like Chris. But he's safe, he's fine. They all have decent maps, to say the least. Yeah, so it will be interesting to see who's going up faster between them. Chris already going for the first boar and sending a villager to put his dog and the and he's sending in a very good spot if he's going for the corner. No matter he will place it here or here, it will be very good for him. Can he see? No. But look at him. Yeah, very good, very good first dog for, for Chris. Yeah, he's got quite a bit of nice fish over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got three of the deep sea very close. Yeah, very good dog. Chris, in my opinion, definitely has the worst map because every it's very narrow. So yeah. if they somehow lose the water, then he's at a disadvantage. But since he's pocket, it's not as major. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he he can be hit from from all over if they they fail to. Meanwhile, if you take a look at um, Blue's map, his gold, he's got one which is far enough from the water which they it cannot be reached at all. I know. I so was saying about he's got it. a very solid gold yeah. and wood for that matter. True. Okay, second ball coming in for Chris. Well, uh, is slinging, you know, a, an option in this type of maps? What do you think? I, I wouldn't typically think so. Um, I'm not. A, I don't play water as much, so I don't know that okay. as much as I do on land maps. But I would think that you'd uh, all have to go either galleys or the pocket maybe go at castle age and war galleys yeah. but I don't think sling is a viable option yeah it's not the same as as land maps not the same e effect though take a look at purple's dock that is yeah. really unfortunate for him because all the fish is fairly re quite far away yeah 
he will be fine for some time, but then he should have but placed it on, on the left side hand. You got yeah. Chris and a uh, blue who got the best stocks in my opinion, and yellow. Oh, they yeah. all have very good close fish. Red has one good fish, two, three which aren't that bad, but purple Chris, and Chris really teal. found yeah, the best, the best one. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, poor teal, as you say. I mean, poor teal. But purple is in yeah. the same condition, so it's yeah. not that bad. Both of them will have s maybe in very s slightly s uh, slow advances, but yeah, I got your point. But if you look at Purple's lower dock, you can see he is too. His second fish uh, was going for the further one for a few seconds. He yeah. corrected it just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, Katsuni, well, we don't need uh, so up. much expert. We, we got a or He rocks. He know all about the math, man. Well, that's a he very rocks. good thing. Of course. Of course. So at the what? moment you got blue who's up, like all the, most people are up. You got just purple who's got a slow advance. I'm not quite sure if he's planning to do a fast castle. And Chris also still making villagers. And Chris for sure, uh, he will uh, he will go. Uh, fast castle. Yeah, fast castle. For oh. sure. You got she's purple with a, a lot. very slow advance relatively to the other players. I think that yellow would do the grush and purple the fast castle. So I think they're going to be just swapping it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly. I know what you mean. Mm, nice. Blue. First to be in feudal. Good time. Yes, good time. We well, kind of expect that from Hans. Hans definitely yes. will have the faster advance. Well, I actually, I practiced a little bit, you know, in, in islands. Really? Yes, to to see uh. how fast I can go, uh, you know, up to feudal age. And my best time was uh, nine minutes fifty-five seconds. Come on, with for Hans. that two R two K, for that two R two K with one game played, <laughs> man. Come on, no, what but do it you was think? It, it it was a very good map, you know, with. Uh, I, I even managed to, to bring two deers to the town and center really and fast. Without Gaia? Without Gaia, man. Without? <laughs> really? Yes, without, <laughs> yeah. My fastest one. But, but uh, after that, uh, I didn't manage to, to go below 10 minutes again. I'm usually around 10, 15, uh, 10, 30, some, somewhere in between. I think yes, purple I, could I be usually click at that time. Small bit of trouble. Who? I think purple, because oh, you purple. see that um, Tio already has three galleys out and he's pumping them from three docks and purple is not even castle and yeah. Not even feudal you mean? Yeah, not even feudal. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he yeah. can't really do much defense. Oh, Meanwhile yeah. you got yellow who is pumping galleys but uh, he's slightly further away which means Tio's galleys will reach um, purple quicker. Mm, but he will be he would be more or less okay because he's sending just one. The other two are at the back. You see, I know he's failed. Yeah, but uh, he's sending one to to find purple, and once yes. uh, he finds him. But when he he send all others, uh, purple will get some already here. Look, Stark already sending now more galleys. Yes. Well, Katsuni, I will see you all in the next game. I I need to make a a little break. Okay, man. Okay. So, what do you think of what's happening at the moment? At the moment, I think Chris, <coughs> li like I said, look at him. You now he's making uh, the market and blacksmith, and he will go up straight away. Yeah, so Chris would be doing the fast castle plus uh, war galleys. Yeah, and then he will go. Uh, I don't know for sure, but uh, anyway, he will go right away to to try and double and take one from the other team you know to to put pressure yeah. on him and just delay him in, in, in going up or or growing strong 
on I water. think Red Cook will need to watch those two galleys because he's got two against four. So if he's not paying attention, he could get a bit of damage on those. Yeah. By the looks of things right now, the other pocket should have gone fast castle if possible. Chris is gonna literally dominate them if he can get in a war galleys out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Red's galleys froze, so he's gonna lose one and possibly almost lose the second. Which. And you see Blue with the bodkin, meanwhile, Cook does not. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, so you got the market up by um, win of Turkey, and he'll be up any second now. Just as soon as those fishing ships just harvest the food. Yeah, he's making the market as well. Yeah, so he's up. It goes up, and yellow will be up well, any second now. there comes Stark. There comes Stark. This could be trouble if Stark can get good kills in with Micro. Yeah, so yellow and, and purple are both up at the moment. Yes, they will be fine being two of them there. Ooh, look at the Stark upgrades. You see Stark with the bodkin. Gun. Yes, I see. Neither T uh, yellow or purple have bodkin arrow, so Stark definitely has advantage in this combat, even though he's outnumbered. While everyone realizes what you mean, I think the upgrade's name is Fletching. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, the, the Fletching. I mean the, the first upgrade. The bot needs the second one. Yeah. My mistake. No problem. Oh, look at Cook now. Going for Blue's dogs. And he's harassing the Lumberjacks. One kill. Ah, uh, he saw it. He saw. Ah, uh, he killed two. Good find for him. Where is Chris? Ah, look at his now war galleys approaching. Ooh, Yellow's he will be island. attacking. The, I think he may target blue from behind because you see red is from one side and he will possibly try to draw blue's ships yeah. and then green. And then Chris could just walk in and kill all the fishing ships. Well, in the meantime, he's hitting Yellow's Lumberjacks, and yes, now he's going. Uh, but no, he, he continues to, to go all around Yellow's Island. I'm surprised on that. Yeah. But it, it does make a certain amount of sense. Though I would have expected him to try to double blue and t take away blue's fishing ships. Because that would give uh, the RVK team a bit of extra advantage. Yes, yes. And looks like Stark lost that momentum when he, he was having advantage with Fletching. Now both yellow and purple has the same. But you s still see yellow. Oh yeah, yellow just got Fletching now. Yeah, yeah. And on the on the other side, Cook is not looking too good versus Blue. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Outnumbered he out there. He's fine, but, He's but he needs to bring his reinforcement in fast. Look at Chris now about to hit Yellow's docks. Come on, Chris. I yes. think Stark could be in a bit of trouble because he's not Castle Age yet, while both Yellow and oh, um, yeah. Purple are Castle Age with the extra upgrades. But take a look at Chris taking out Bolo's fishing ships. But like you say, Ooh, yellow walking his fishing ships into Chris. Oh man! <laughs> Stark is now also Stark in Castle. Stark just reached Castle Age. Yeah. Now if you, he you can definitely get have two Starks uh, docks going down though. Yeah. And blue 
is now raiding Cook and his dogs. Cook also soon to be in Castle Age. I mean, he's already uh, on the way to have war galleys. He's having bot king. Okay, now he can encounter. But Winnem Turkey doesn't have Bodkin Arrow yet. That's surprising. Who? Uh, Purple does not have Bodkin Arrow yet. He only is fletching. Oh yeah, I see. I see now. At the moment, it definitely looks like Dao is in the better position. They got. It seems like they got better fleet, bigger fleets. Yes, actually, let me check check the military. At this point, Chris is having 26, Wargal is 34. Winner of 1v1 blue. Uh, Stark is having 37, 33 for Cook, 34. For and you can see Stark Slumberjacks being harassed at the moment. 38 for N Nepal. Yeah. Yeah, Win of Turkey finally got um, the attack upgrade. Winner of Turkey has 3 TCs up and is booming pretty good. He's more than 100 pop right now. Heist in the game, man. Who is this guy? <laughs> Who are I these guys? Only All these guys. Only Taff knows and the yeah. clan themselves. <laughs> Wonder if uh, they need ballistics, man. What that ballistics really? Those yeah. are a lot of wasted shots there. Yeah. Yep. Purple just got ballistics, and I'm sure uh, Stark already has it. Chris probably. Chris is just getting the university now. And now they Yellow does not have a university, so he can't have it. Blue's getting the university, and let's take a look at Red. Yeah, Red's already got the university. So it seems like Chris, Yellow, and Blue don't have mystics yet, although well, others do. Purple are away, and you see blue engaging that fight. They're they're <laughs> trying to enclose the navies in a box, and yeah, if they can do it, it's going to be successful. But they should have oh, waited. too many ships lost. Yeah, yeah. they should have waited for for the other guys to, to also join the battle. Definitely a mistake from Doughty. Yeah. They're gonna destroy them all. And also Cook now put pressure on Blue. And Very strong. I think these two upcoming battles may decide the game. Yeah, the probably. blue versus red and the yellow and purple versus green and teal. Lots of reinforcements coming in from start. This is not looking good. Blue is in a bit of trouble at the moment. See any more Chris reinforcements? <laughs> Not too much. 
But nevertheless, look, look, looks like they, they've won. They have won. The winner of Turkey is already going up to Imperial Age. Yeah, but where is his Man. army? Where is his army? Winner of Turkey massing up on the side of his land now. And he's going up in. Okay. If he can survive with enough Gaily till then. I was looking at Blue, who lost in almost entirely his fleet. Even Gu has clicked up, but he has no army left, so... Who? Until he can get Blue, ah, winner okay. of 1v1, yeah, he's yeah. also imping, but... He has no army left and is low on gold, so... Really not a good position, though. At least he's got that one mine left which has four spaces which has over 2400 gold and that can't really be attacked by the water so at least he's got a bit of backup in yeah. case uh, red does post some ships along that coast now I think RVK should push but you got them. cook going up well all of DOW team is up almost to Imperial Age, Stark and Chris are still far from it and this is not looking good. But you got Cook up and Cook has got quite a large fleet. Yep. It's a bad. It, it's a bad thing for for Dell that uh, they somehow lost Blue. I don't know how fast Blue will manage to to recover really. So for for quite a while they'll have to play two versus three. Well, not really. Blue is in and he's making gailies now. He's already got a lot of drops on his back. Oh yeah, he did. Another big fight with Purple versus versus Chris and Stark there. Well, Purple has the Galleon upgrade. Yeah, he's I know. He's quite a bit. He's outnumbered by a large amount. Yeah. Numbers game just too much for him. The thing is, the galleon upgrade has 30 extra hit points and 2 extra pierce armor, and 2 extra attack. What on extra attack? But plus the braces extra attack. 2, two extra attack, 30 extra hit points and 2 pierce armor, which is quite a huge difference. But against that many numbers, there's not really much you can do. And Cook is coming in with the other fleet. Now he's attacking yellow from two sides. And you've got Nepal, who I would imagine is going to be getting a galleon upgrade soon. Yeah, it's 70%. Yes, he's got Galleons. 75. But you got Cook already with Bracer. Chris soon to be in Imperial also. He's like, he's like 10 seconds away from Imperial. I really think uh, Dao are doing, fighting the wrong battles, because Yellow's fleet can be utterly annihilated if Green and Teal went just down. 
But I th I don't know why they were retreating. Yes. They could have completely destroyed Yellow's fleet. And it looks like Blue is back in the game with a reasonable sized navy, always building more as he's got access to his gold again. Yeah, but now he will be again destroyed by, by Red, I think. He's, he's running back. Chris By the way, also um, joins the fight. Your, your minute 37, right? Yeah, uh, 38. Okay, good. 30 Seven tw 18. I'm 38 now. Okay. Yeah. It, even I just reached 38. I'm 38 7 right now. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you just tell me your time again. Me? 38 25. Yeah, both of you. Yeah. 38, 30 now for me. Okay, good. Now I'm back in time. Okay. Big fights, big fights. Still, y you can say the winner because it's not a big difference now between Chris and Blue. And really, I mean, every single battle counts. Yes, indeed. And the thing is, even if they destroy the fleet once, you can just guess that they're going to build the fleet again and again and again <laughs> until they run out of gold. <laughs> yeah, of gold and wood. <laughs> yeah, wood as well. And those two, that island beside Chris, w beside the RBK guys, is yeah. so huge with the three sort of mine slots, yeah, the yeah, yeah. 11 gold piles. That would be absolutely humongous as the game goes on. Indeed. Oh, look at this, another big fight will follow if thou will We need engage. Purple to get into the battle quickly. Purple needs to send his fleet. I have no idea what Purple is doing. He, If he does not come then, it's an instant GG. Oh yeah. Yellow and blue seem to be outnumbered there while purple is far away from this battle come on yeah purple is uh, I have no idea what he's doing oh he's doing a landing on teal see his castle oh yeah I think he's gonna be doing a land push there oh that could be fit quite huge if he managed to take out Stark's base he'd yeah. have the extra gold and extra wood which is very beneficial in this game. But I think Stark spotted. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so you got the castle taking out a few villages. Seems like he's planning to do another castle push. Another castle, yeah. And he's got the trebuchets out. But in the meantime, you got Yellow's fleet decimated, and same yeah. with Blue's isn't quite, but they lost a huge battle there, which could have been prevented if Purple's fleet had been in the area. They got a they, they got a sling Stark now. I think Star could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And like, if Purple retreats beside the castle, the castle does a lot of damage for ships. And the castles at the moment are sort of blocking that channel. And another castle, and the third one. It's crazy. They need cannon galleons, probably. I 
Unfortunately, red isn't being a very good. Sorry, purple is not being a very good team player at the moment, and he's not really helping his team, which yeah. is what Islands is mainly about. Indeed. Because if you have your ships and you're taking out your man, but your man has his fleet destroying your allies' fleet, you'll win against his smaller fleet, but then both your allies' fleets will be destroyed, so you'll be against three, so that's not very valuable. Yeah. Stark will lose one of his casters, though. He just and probably did. another one in a sec. Now, I think with Mongol trebuchets, you know, hitting with better accuracy, he will be able to defend. The thing is, at the moment, you see both Red and all three of RBK's team on the two special islands, and they're milking the extra gold. Yep. Yes, they are. <laughs> Meanwhile, you see Blue Scored, which is beside the sea, which is being fired at at the moment. Stark is, is shooting Stan Brown with his trebuchets. <laughs> yep. Uh, they should also try to, to land on one of, of Dao's island. Maybe even on, on Purple Island. Who do you think is going to win between Purple's fleet and Teal's fleet in the west, on the west side? I think Purple. On that extra island. On that extra island? You got... Oh, uh, where? Where are you looking specifically? Ah, in, in the left side, Purple. Yeah, you got Purple with quite a bit more galleys. Yeah. There. Well, but they call it GG. Dow team. Whoa. They've lost almost completely water. Well, that yeah. was a GG, no doubt. Yes. And they didn't manage to, to destroy Stark completely. Or do m more damage. Yep. Well, interesting nice game. game. It was. Strong play by Dao team but but a better team play by by RVK yeah definitely time to check the achievements yes I'm on the achievements right now Military and just, I think the main set is the units killed units lost for Cook and Nepal yeah yeah that indeed. difference is just humongous Indeed. Cook did really, really good this one. I didn't like him because he was behaving like he was, you know, in the start yeah. of the stream, as you remember, but he did good for for this game. Well done. So what's the next I, game? I find really in I find really interesting is the fact that all the Dow team advanced quicker.